This is how I survive New York. Like this. How do you walk around like that? <laughs> like this. <laughs> People give you weird looks because you look like Cousin I lost my script. But it's really good. Bernie on a journey here with Derek. Derek is an amazing co-worker here at NeighborLink and he is going to talk us through how to be prepared for winter, how to be a good neighbor, how to be a good steward of our resources and be ready to help others in the unfortunately very cold circumstances that have befallen us. So one thing that's important is winter preparedness and that's what we want to talk about. And there's three big aspects about that and that is what condition your vehicle's in, the second thing is your own behavior, and also what you should have in your vehicle when you're out driving around all winter. Uh, so let's start with your vehicle. Um, you certainly want to have a good tune-up on there, like every 30,000 miles, so make sure you've got that. Um, you've got a good battery, um, which means either the battery works or it doesn't work, but really, if, as long as it's not close to end of life, so it's not four or five years old, so it needs to be fairly fresh, make sure that you've got that. We we're also talking about having good tires. Bernie just got some new tires on her car, so that's important. Yep, and um, what's a good tire test? Is a penny, correct? You can uh, put a penny yeah, in the and tread. Yeah, and you can't see, it's gotta come up to George's collar or something, I don't know. Okay. Bottom line is they, you need to make sure you have good good tires, whatever that means. And a freeze is important as well since it's so cold in the Indiana wet winters. Um, and so you would have, actually have a shop make sure that your antifreeze is, is up to level and also is effective. So, uh, windshield washer fluid in the wintertime. It's very important to have a low temperature windshield washer fluid in your car so they have normal um, probably summertime stuff, uh, but wintertime is is when you really need the low temperature stuff so it doesn't freeze. And you need good windshield wipers. Let's take a look and see how easy it is to take a windshield wiper off and replace them. In fact, Bernie needs to do that because hers are in very bad shape. Yep. So what you do is you find out where there's a little tab here, and I'm trying to figure out which way it goes, and you just flip the tab and you take your, your uh, windshield um, wiper off just like that. I feel like I need a staple sponge, so that was easy. You need to go buy yourself a new one, and when you get your new one, figure out how it goes on, and stick it on there. Just something that Derek And did. voila! It, a lot of windshield wipers are different sizes, so you need to measure. My windshield wipers, this one is 19 inches, and the other one is 25 inches. So make sure you're not buying windshield wipers that are the wrong size, because that can be very bad. Yeah. So uh, the final thing about your vehicle, if you've got a four-wheel drive, uh, make sure you know how to use it and make sure it's functioning because it can be a big uh, benefit for you. So let's talk about your behavior, the next topic. And that is, um, unlike myself, I highly recommend you keep your gas tank full in case you run into situations uh, um, that, where you'll need need more gas so well I mean I just have that to this week I was running low on gas Monday night when we had a bad snowfall and a lot of accidents and I'm so grateful that I had the presence of mind to fill up my tank because I was stuck on the road for an hour what in what trip normally takes me 15 minutes and for most of that I was just sitting in traffic and I couldn't even imagine if I hadn't filled up my gas tank I mean, my car stopping in the middle of the road because we're stuck in traffic is gonna make it even worse jam for everyone else. So be a good neighbor, be prepared, be responsible. Okay, so after a big snow like we had yesterday or the day before, um, one thing you see a lot of and causes a lot of accidents is people kind of maybe wiping their windshield off a little bit so they can see through. Uh, I highly recommend you clean off all your, win your front windshield, all your windows so you can, so you can see real well. So that's on, that's on you. Uh, to do that every time um, and I'm a big I'm a big one we talked about windshield wipers I like rain -X, um, put rain -X on your windows after you clean your clean your car um, and it'll keep uh, the, the, the rain just sheeting right off your windshield it's incredible okay so let's go into uh, what you should have in your car and, and uh, every every winter you should put these things in there and make sure you, you're in good shape uh, one thing is an emergency kit with flares um, and Oh, a flashlight, any particular tools, um, that's very important. Um, the other thing I always do is carry extra warm clothes. Um, I have a pair of boots in there. 
um, obviously a hat, um, gloves, that sort of thing, so that if you do get stranded anytime, you'll be just fine. One thing my co-worker Jeff mentioned is he carries around a, a, a snow brush. Um, he leaves it in his truck all the time. It's a brush, it's a, it's a broom that he bought specifically oh, wow. for um, getting snow off the car so you don't use it for anything other than that. It's something nice and soft and you can get a, a bunch of uh, high quantity of snow off really easily. That's so a smart idea. It is, it's that. really good. Um, also you should have snacks and water if you're taking trips. Uh, Especially and around so, the holidays for yeah. a road trip, like we're, I'm going to Pittsburgh, I'm making sure I have some things yeah. just in case. In case there's a slide off or something like that. Um, flashlight, anything you can think of that would keep you safe, make sure it's in the car. Yeah. yeah. So did we box. cover a few things? I think we covered a lot. It really right. helps me get Good. prepared for winter. I've learned so much just by being here around people who know what to do with cars and batteries and such. I don't know anything about cars. He taught me things. <laughs> yeah, also check your brakes. That's another big thing this winter. Derek and I actually replaced my brakes this past fall and I noticed a huge difference. I noticed an even bigger difference once I got new tires with the new brakes. Yeah, so, so that's, that's important to make sure your brakes are good. But also I talked to a couple people um, just recently about uh, driving on ice and they said, oh yeah, I pumped my brakes. You've got analog brakes and what you really want to do is push your brakes firm, Steady, firmly. Yeah. You don't want to pump that pedal. You want to push the brakes set, uh, steadily and firmly and let your analog brakes do all the pumping. They'll, they'll make sure that you get stopped much more safe. If you pump the brakes and you're going to confuse those analog brakes, and it's going to Probably be Probably jam the system. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, it's gonna don't do up. that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, thank you, Derek. I feel like we learned a lot. Very good. We're safer for this winter. You guys go out, be safe, be good neighbors. You know, you can always be a good neighbor by brushing off the other person's car around you. That's right. That's a thought process too. That's right. You got extra time and gloves. <laughs> <laughs>